And nearly 10 years after a stock trading scandal landed her in prison, Martha Stewart was back in court yesterday. This time, she was defending her professional reputation. Michelle Miller shows us the tug of war between two retail giants over the media mogul's brands. Self-assured but soft-spoken, Martha Stewart testified she did not breach her contract with Macy's when she inked a deal to sell her housewares at retail rival J.C. Penney. She told the court, I keep looking at this entire episode of this lawsuit wondering why. It's a contract dispute. It just boggles my mind that we're here sitting in front of you, Judge. Penny's approached the founder of Martha Stewart Living Omni Media in 2011, a time when Stewart claims Macy's had not maximized the potential of her business as promised. Sales stalled at $300 million, she said, not the $400 million she'd hoped for. All while her parent company endured its fifth straight year of losses. The 71-year-old said, we got to a certain dollar amount and struggled and never got any further. Retail analyst Brian Sozzi. If you go into Macy's stores, they haven't done much with the brand. And what JCPenney is bringing to the table is creating little stores within the store, making it interesting, driving interesting, unique product, and getting more customers in the store. Penny's even bought a 16 percent stake in Stewart's company. But Macy's lawyers portrayed Stewart as a partner who turned her back on an exclusive contract, forcing consumers to make a competitive choice. Opposing counsel asked, isn't a shopper less likely to walk to the other end of the mall and buy another Martha Stewart design? Stewart answered, they're going to buy where they feel comfortable shopping, where the price is the best and where they are getting the very best quality. I think Martha comes out a winner here because it, she's gaining uh, interest in her brand. What I'm worried about is what happens if JCPenney loses this. They lost a, a big opportunity. Known for her dry wit, when asked by her own lawyer how she juggled her time running her empire, she referred to her five-month jail stint, saying, I did my time. For CBS This Morning, Michelle Miller, New York.